Welcome back to your channel. This episode is about again the commonality between quantum physics and spirituality. In the last episode about what's common between spirituality and quantum physics, I talked about the consciousness, the power of consciousness. The moment you are conscious of something, you observe something, it will get materialized. In this episode, I'm going to talk about vibrations. Um, vibrations are also uh, the, the, the common thing between uh, quantum physics and spirituality. So in the spiritual world, people usually talk about um, human being as a as an energy entity or uh, as a vibration um like we have a frequency so um for us to have a higher frequency is to reach a uh, a higher state better state and get happier so this um human as a uh, frequency is often talked uh, in the spiritual world and I f as I studied quantum physics I found quantum physics are actually talking about the same thing so the Nobel Prize winning German physicist um, Max Planck also said in his famous quote that Every material has its unique frequency and they're vibrating with that unique frequencies. So everything is frequency, everything is vibration, everything is a effect of that vibration. And also in the quantum physics there is this theory called um, string theory or super string theory. Um, it basically um, says that uh, everything is uh, vibrating. So uh, in the last episode, I said there were 17 elementary particles. and But if you have these um, super tiny particles and it has... Uh, it's super tiny that it's almost zero, like it, the distance is almost zero. And in the theory of relativity, um, if the, the distance is zero, then the gravity will be uh, infinite. So that's, um, that's like not possible. Um, so this string theory came out to support the um, theory of relativity, as I understood. Th so the string theory says, basically, um, these uh, elementary particles are actually just like a vibration of just one string. So let's imagine there is a um, violin, the, the musical instrument violin also has a string. So although violin only has a few strings, it can play very different music tones. And the string theory says um, those elementary particles are just um, the different vibrations of this string so if you play the string in a different way if you um, bounce it a lot it will have big frequency if you bounce it a bit it will have um, small frequency so the the difference of frequencies uh, is just a difference of elementary particles um, just like when you um, play violin um, you have um, different tones that's because you play it differently but um, the string is just one string it, it doesn't change but you can create many different tones many different sounds 
so the this uh, string theory or super string theory um, basically is saying that everything is like a vibration of this one string so um, the quantum physics and the level of quantum particle they are also arguing that uh, everything is just vibration and frequency so this um, relates um, you to the spiritual world this, the spiritual people also uh, talks, talk about everything as a frequency everything is a vibration and I guess even our feeling or our words our voice is a, is definitely a vibration when you touch your throat you can actually feel the vibration of your voice right so our words are vibration our feelings are even vibration or it's energy um and we ourselves are also vibration we think we have our solid body but actually it's just a vibration so when you look at the quantum um, world it's everything will start to look so differently you believe that everything exists as a solid you the table um the the desk the keyboard everything exists like a solid thing but when it's um broke broke down to the quantum level um everything will start to be like just like frequencies or waves so um it, it's this is just what the buddhism says buddhism says everything is empty so it's just like that everything is just empty and it's just vibrating um um if so if we are just a vibration um maybe we can change this uh, frequency as well so also in spirituality or uh, psychology i don't know they say you can actually rewrite your consciousness um when you are having the feeling of fear or anger you you are on um, having this uh, frequency of fear and anger but um, you can consciously rewrite on um, that um, frequency and to change it to the the f um, frequency of joy or love to change just to change your frequency um, that you emit and as you change your frequency from um, those lower ones to the higher ones and uh, you also be start to become a different person and you will uh, start to enjoy this uh, world and your life that's uh, what the spiritual people said by um, to have higher frequency to have higher vibrations and also in uh, English you uh, we say oh I feel good vibes or I feel bad vibes and um, this is just literally uh, ex expressing you are actually feeling the vibes from something from um, someone or something um, outside of you or you yourself you're um, just uh, getting interaction on your your vibration and some other vibrations are getting interrupted and if um, you are feeling good vibes your frequency and someone else's frequency are uh, will resonate and when the frequencies resonate it will become double it will increase even so you feel even even um higher frequencies and you feel much better uh, um so and but however if uh, your frequency and someone else's frequency doesn't match that well um it will just offset uh, each other's frequency and you feel bad vibes so and you don't even want to stay there because 
I feel like your frequency is being killed by someone else's frequencies. When it doesn't match, it actually offset the frequency, so the frequency will become like zero. And we just wanna leave uh, the place if we, we feel bad um, vibes, right? So in that sense, we're all vibrations and um, our feeling, our words, are also vibrations and um, in neuroscience uh, it also talks about the brain waves our brain also uh, has some electric signal uh, which can actually be measured so you can measure the frequency of your brain waves um, Usually, when you're conscious, you have this uh, beta frequency, uh, which is uh, when you're thinking, when you're concentrated, when you are stressed, you have this. When you are relaxed, you feel you will emit alpha uh, waves frequency uh, or delta frequency uh, when you are relaxing. So as your uh, state, your mental state, your body state changes, you will also um, emit different brain waves. And so, yeah, in this episode, I uh, discussed uh, the human as a, a vibration, which is both talked in the quantum physics and spirituality. So uh, in daily lives, we tend to forget about the spirituality, but I think uh, the spirituality is quite important in our lives so that we can feel more joy and love. And people tend to focus um, on logical stuff, you know, but I think many stuff that cannot be explained logically also exists. Things that you can't see it also exists, um, such as these vibrations. And so what we think is not so important nowadays may be very, very important. And by studying different fields, you find um, actually there are many common stuff that uh, every field is talking about, and I'm I'm really excited to find out those um, similarities between the science and the spirituality, or the religion, or the the psychology. And in the next episode. I would like to talk about dimension. Uh, uh, spiritual people also talk about dimensions, and uh, in quantum physics, they also talk about dimensions. So, next episode is about dimensions. All right, I'll finish here today. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.